In this video, we're going to do a little bit of a short thing to basically prove that basically the uh, whole thing in Virginia is not some aberration of the uh, Democratic Party, but basically that the Democrats are what you see across the whole nation is uniform, and it's been that way since the start. And right here we see from Zero Hedge, this is a reliable site that you're going to see for news, for independent news, you're not going to find much better. And it's uh, this is uh, received from uh, the Daily Bell that they received it from, from uh, Joe Jarvis. <clears throat> and the title is, Yes, Democrats did start the Ku Klux Klan, and it's still the party of racism. Basically, they're using division by race currently. Still to this day, they do not believe that... Uh, <clears throat> minorities actually have the actual ability to do things on their own which is why they still believe in affirmative action if they actually believe that they are actually capable they wouldn't be using it in fact we even saw uh let's take a uh, example with robert bird he actually used the uh n-word on television uh as previous to his death uh nine years in 2001 he was a Democratic senator elect, elected from West Virginia in 2006. We have Ralph, Ralph Northam dressed in blackface uh, when he was 25, uh, or in KKE robes, we don't know uh, of which, as pictured in the graduate yearbook. Um, he was also, uh, he also said he, uh, that he only applied a bit of shoe polish to dress as Michael Jackson. Uh, because the stuff was uh, hard to get off. Uh, and, I mean, we're talking that... Uh, we're talking that this is basically a habit of the actual party. And if we look back at the history of it, this is basically the KKK was actually the uh, militant force of the Democratic Party. And it's never... Uh, it only became dismissed... When it became unpopular and started to actually reduce in forces. Mind you that actually Franklin Delano Roosevelt used the KKK to get elected. But it wasn't for them, it would actually uh, he would have actually never have gotten elected in the first place. Uh, it would actually be uh, Wilkie who would have gotten elected in, uh, because Wilkie actually had the black vote. And if it wasn't for the KKK vote... Uh, FDR would never have gotten elected because FDR was a very, very racist man who hated all minorities. If you look at it, he puts uh, Japanese Americans in internment camps strictly for the reason that we were in war with, with Japan. Uh, even though these Japanese Americans did not even have any link with uh, Japan when it came to uh, the actual military points at all. If you look at my uh, video on World War II, you'll see how he actually caused the war with Japan anyway, which shows that he probably uh, had it out for these Japanese Americans to begin with as well. And basically when we look at him, we see that basically is he was basically a horribly racist man, and he even uh, put people on his Supreme Court that were even, uh, they were even bigoted to begin with and were even members of the KKK. So it was shown that he was basically against this. We look at uh, another one, Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson uh, screened uh, Birth of a Nation, which was actually made by the KKK. This, is a, this was a uh, major uh, publication filmed by the KKK. And when it actually came out with a re-release, it was actually uh, not long ago, it it received a lot of backlash because of the re uh, because of the re-release, but the original never received the backlash because Woodrow Wilson screened it actually in the White House, and he was beloved by the Democrats, as being this great Democrat who created the income tax because he wanted to get rid of uh, income inequality because uh, he wanted to give people free stuff. He also created the. Uh, Federal Reserve Bank because uh, he wanted to centralize banking as well. This was another thing he did. He was a big, big uh, centralized uh, central uh, planning Democrat. 
very uh, very uh, much into the progressive ideas, like what we see with like Ocasio Cortez and Bernie Sanders, and we also see with uh, people uh, that when they started the idea of the Great Society under LBJ, LBJ only did this because if in his words. Uh, he would basically toss them a little bit of money and, well, the N-words will be voting for them for 500 years. That was the whole purpose. This is actually a direct quote from him. I'm just kind of touching it up so that basically, so I'm not actually using words that I would never use in public. But yet he would because uh, he was a complete and utter scumbag. And this is not something different than, this is not something where people see it in Virginia. This is not a Virginia thing, for uh, a Virginia thing. This is not a Virginia Democrat thing. This is a Democrat thing. And I'm not defending Republicans overall. There's a lot of horrible Republicans, as we know with neoconservatives. They're warmongering morons. But when it comes down to it is there's plenty of warmongering Democrats and Democrats are complete and utterly racist. And we need to accept this fact. We can't act like they're not And they, when they try to actually flip the actual tables and act like Republicans are when there's no actual evidence. I mean, you look at Robert Byrd. Robert Byrd recruited 50 of his friends to start the chapter, and yet we're talking for the KKK. Uh, he dropped the N bomb back in 2001 on national television, and yet in his uh, funeral in 2010, he was praised by Bill and Hillary Clinton as a mentor and praised by Barack Hussein Obama. This is this is your Democratic Party right there. Shouldn't even surprise you that much if they're t if they're basically saying uh, Dem a KKK recruiter is the greatest thing out there then you should expect racism is alive and well in the current actual Democratic Party. It doesn't matter if you're talking Democratic Socialist, if you're talking these progressives out there, if you're talking the mainstream Democrats, it's all the same. It doesn't matter who we're talking about. Democrats are all racist. It doesn't matter, even if they're black, they're basically, all they're doing is they're essentially trading on their own race. You look at historically with Republicans. Republicans were actually the party of black people. They was actually started initially before Lincoln got in. It was actually started by black people as a grassroots political organization. That's what it was. Black people only started jumping over to the Democratic Party when they were bought off. That's how it happened. The first actual people in Congress were not Demo they were black were not democrats they were republicans that's how it happened and it's not it shouldn't be much of a surprise to you to learn this because if you learn your history you would learn uh that these people came in as republicans not democrats they're actually looking for equal rights not free stuff it was when they were actually bought off by a lot of these rich northern democrats they were actually looking to essentially uh, buy them off and look to see if they couldn't get people on these welfare programs and get voting, uh, get them to vote for them, so they wouldn't get backlash for all what they, all what these northern uh, Democratic bankers were supporting in Southern slavery. They actually, what they did is they did this solely for the reason that they weren't going to get massive backlash. So they got them to support horribly policies such as abortion in the cities. So essentially they would get these people to become turncoats on their own race. Such as you find a lot of these people that say, I'm a civil I'm a civil rights uh, icon. Well, then why are you a Democrat? You're a Democrat because you turned on your own race. You basically turned tail because they offered you a boatload of cash. And they, you did that because the fact is, as you knew, if you did that, you could make a lot of money by selling a lot of people out. And you could say, hey, I'm a civil rights icon. Uh, doesn't matter where you were, if you were down in Georgia, if you were down in Alabama, if you were out in Missouri, you all sell, you all sold these all, you all sold these black people out 
and basically committed them to basically medical testing. He committed them to these lives of uh, oppression through basically being on public aid. He committed them to basically aborting their actual newborns and telling them it was a good idea. And so they basically, so they essentially wiped their own race out. That was the whole idea of Margaret Sanger, is to basically go there and do a soft, a soft uh, eugenics program so they would wipe out because she knew the whites weren't keeping up with actual birth rates. She wanted to wipe these people out that she felt were inferior stocks. That was the whole reason. And when you look at these people, they turn on their race and the, uh, and the actual, when it comes to white, uh, these white Democrats, they, they were always racist from the get-go. You have a bit, bunch of KKK people and a bunch of traitors that have actually created the Democratic Party. That's what it is today. When you get the Republican Party, yes, you do have horrible people who are neoconservatives, but you do have these libertarian conservatives out there that actually care about the, about the American people, all races, no matter who they are. It doesn't matter who they are as people. They actually care about them. And those are the ones we need to support. You don't need to be supporting these socialists who basically want democide in the future. You don't need to be supporting these people who are these uh, black Democrats who have sold everybody down the river to make themselves rich, such as Maxine Waters. You don't need to be supporting these people uh, and uh, Benny Thompson, who have basically tried to make themselves rich by selling people down the river. You don't need to be supporting these white Democrats who are be basically nothing but uh, hood-wearing uh, KKK members in hiding. That's all this is. And then when we go over to the Republicans, they, the neoconservatives are just as bad. Instead of being K the KKK, they're basically sending people off the war to die just because they want to make a few bucks for the uh, military-industrial complex. And we need to actually look to people who actually care about the nation, not care about a couple of bucks and actually want to basically are, don't even care about wiping people off the face of the earth just to make a few bucks in the pocket and actually are completely racist about it that's what we're seeing here the democrats are racist and you get a they're uh, a mix of racists and actual uh financial opportunists that's all they are when it comes to republicans you have your neoconservatives who are basically financial opportunists for war and then you have your libertarian conservatives who actually care about people this is all you have out there and it doesn't take a genius to figure this out uh, it's a little bit of a rant, but it's basically giving you the raw and unabridged truth. And if you look actually at your history, not your re uh, not your basically reconstructed history by your left wing professors or people over the years that have tried to tell you that FDR is a good guy and the Federal Reserve was used to protect your money. Yeah, you know how they actually uh, how they actually ensure your your things uh, your actual investments protected. Yeah, they print more money, which means that money that was actually taken out is actually diluted to a massive degree. That's how they make sure it's protected. So you actually lose your money, morons. These people do not care about that. It's basically a way of robbing you. So if you want to actually go, uh, help yourself out. Go to a pure free market system. Support these guys who support a pure free market system. It's the only way to go, and those are the ones you need to support. You don't need to be supporting these people who want a basic militarized system that gets rid of free speech, and these people who are willing to sell, uh, sell people down the river just to make a few bucks. Those are the people who are horrible because those are people are the ones that are basically saying, anybody who says, I'm going to work for you, tell them to go take a hike. Anybody who says, who's, who basically wants to actually put in a system that's based off liberty and freedom, those are the ones you want in power. That's it. Now, if you like this, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, 
and what uh and share it all around on social media and i will see you guys tomorrow